So once we've created one point, let's take this whole collection of objects and let's copy and paste to bring it down. So we're going to kind of incrementally develop this. The next step is that we don't want to create a single point, but we want to create a row of points. All right? So now we need to modify our script a little bit, right? Um, let's go ahead and double click it. And we need to change some of the pseudocode, right? Which is not to create a single point, but we need to create a row of points, right? And instead of using the X input for the coordinate here, uh, we're going to use um, a slightly different way to define the coordinate values, right? So instead of um, a single value defining the X coordinate, we want to have our slider input X. This is going to become the number of points, right? So as opposed to saying it's going to be at 1.7900, we're going to say, I want 10 points, right? So we're going to change how we're using our input, right? So if the in, in, inside of the kind of um, goal of creating a row of points, let's add the pseudocode for um, creating multiple points, right? So what was the, um, what was the uh, kind of technique that we were describing earlier that allows us to incrementally execute a particular action. It uses a counter and it's called loop, right? We're going to loop, we're going to create a loop to step through i, right? i is going to be our first counter. Then inside that loop, if we hit enter and tab, right, this gives us four spaces. You see these little dots? Remember, Python is indent sensitive. We're going to create a loop to step through i. <clears throat> and inside of that loop, right, every time i increases, we're going to then create a point at i, comma, zero, comma, zero. Okay, so here, this part of our uh, definition should also be indented one tab. Okay, now if you hit test, it's going to throw an error because we've now modified the structure of our code by indenting it uh, without actually finishing the rest of the, of the script. So let's go ahead and do that first before we go any further. So this, everything that happens in here is going to be creating a row of points. Okay. So um, let's first create our loop. Remember that our syntax is that for i, that's the name of our counter, in range, open parentheses, from 0 to how many are we going to have? Are we going to define this, let's say, by 10? Or are we going to use something else to define the second number in our range call? Do you have a suggestion of what this should be? Go ahead and type it into the question window. You got it. X. For i in range 0, comma, x, then we're going to finish the for structure with a colon. Right? So this is a syntax for starting a loop. Right? So i is going to start at 0. It's going to increment 1 each time, and it's going to go until we get to x. All right. So... Um, we've created our loop. The next thing is to create a point at i00 so we can change our input here for add point to i. Okay, and now if we were to um, hit test, um, it's going to throw an error uh, for a second. Uh, it says that there's an un un unexpected token. Uh, 
because um, if you look at the highlighting uh, of these words here, they're blue. So anything that is really important for the syntax of our code is going to be uh, highlighted. So these are keywords. Note that my for, which is a very important keyword, is not blue because I typed capital F. Remember, Python is case sensitive as well. So for with a lowercase f, I in range. Okay, and then if we hit test, we're going to get another error, which again is important for us to um, remember what's happening with our script. It says that for the range method, the integer was expected, but it got a float. And what's a float? Well, that's a float. That's a number with a decimal point. So if we remember, we started by using x for a coordinate, but now we're using it for something else. So let's hit OK. And this is where our type hit uh, becomes important, right? We want to right-click X, go to type hint, and ensure that this doesn't say um, just a GH doc object. That means it's generic. It hasn't been defined. Um, we want to say that this is an integer, INT. If we say that it's an integer, it will do its best to uh, convert what we're giving it to an integer. But, um, but let's be more specific so that our slider is giving it actually the right values to begin with. Make sure I turn the preview of that off. All right, so let's edit our slider. Right click, edit, and make sure that we specify that this should be integers. N, right? We want at least one point and as many as 20 points. So now, as I move my slider, I'm going to see the point preview update. Now, it's only giving us one point as a result. Now, that's um, correct because we haven't done one more um, action in here, which is to tell the Grasshopper Python object that a shouldn't be just one object, but it should be more than one object. So in order to do that, at the top of our script, we have to define A um, as a list so that it can receive multiple values or bits of data, right? So all we're going to do is type A equals open and close brackets. Those are the hard brackets, not parentheses, and not curly brackets. So now that this, is, this can receive multiple, value, multiple bits of data, let's go to the line after we've created our point and make sure that we um, include the current point in the output. All right, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to say a dot append because a is the name of our output. Append my point. Open and close parentheses. So now, if we hit test, we should be good. Executed, execution completed successfully. We hit OK and we look into our output. A here at the end, instead of just um, returning the single most recent my point, uh, we don't actually need to include this at all, right? Because A is just going to be receiving the point as we go. So if we hit OK, now what we'll see is a row of points. So if we increase our slider, we'll get more points. Perfect. Now at this point, um, Let's make sure that everyone has their uh, row of points created. And um, if you have any questions or issues, go ahead and drop them into the question window. Uh, remember, the modifications we made, we have to make sure that A is understood uh, by the object as 
being able to receive multiple values. So that's A equals brackets. And then we're going to add the current point to the collection of things stored that will come out of A. And append is a little uh, keyword that we'll be uh, looking at in just a second. What it means is that we can um, store what is the current my point inside of this uh, letter A. So it will, it will add it to the end of the collection of elements and thereby giving us the ability to return multiple values. In this case, those are uh, points.